Hello everyone, this is Tim. Welcome to my platform. I don't know which platform you're watching this on, but welcome. Book two for this month, Hope on a Tightrope. So let's continue reading through it. See what gems we have. Crack is a perfect example. Crack is indeed the postmodern drug because it releases the highest level of stimulation known to the human brain. It can create sensations many times more intense than an orgasm. Crack and its less demonized but equally destructive pharmaceutical relations supports a culture that is addicted to overstimulation. The marketplace culture seems inescapable, unavoidable. The problem of the marketplace culture, like any other human creation or legal construct, is that it can be used for ill if there's no means by which individuals are rendered responsible or answerable. That's what democracy is all about. How do we hold each other accountable? If you're not spiritually, politically, morally prepared to deal with success, then a catastrophe can follow thereafter. In fact, it can blind you in your own quest for greatness because you actually think life is about because all you actually think life is about are things or these fleeting pleasures and these commodities. If you think you can possess your soul by means of possessing things, you've got moral constipation stalking you. The quest of wisdom for a black people who have been dehumanized, degraded, demeaned, spit on, rebuked, and scorned, and at the same time have come up with very creative responses and very strong forms of resistance to that dehumanization has been tumultuous, a tumultuous journey. To be a black philosopher means that your quest for wisdom is going to begin from the underside of modernity and the night side of American democracy. You want on one hand to be true to the best of your roots, but you also want to be open to a number of different adventurous roots. You're European, African, and American. You're partly pre-modern because you're tied to pre-modern texts like Hebrew scripture, the New Testament, or even African stories, but you're also modern at the same time. You're not just dealing with science and technology, you're dealing with claims about rights, liberty, freedom, and equality, ideals that we associate with the modern world. In some ways, you find yourself in the modern world, but not of it because you've been excluded for so long. You find yourself in America, but not of it because you've been marginalized for so long. To survive, you must bounce back and forth. You become very fluid and flexible. In some ways, you have an advantage because your world is so large and full of different dimensions that other philosophers may not have access to. There is a crisis of purpose among black intellectuals in general and black philosophers in particular. There has been a decline in the quality of public intellectuals and independent academics who can catalyze the larger conversation about the destiny of vulnerable individuals such as the black underclass. Reading Plato and Malcolm X might while Malcolm X becomes seemingly ornamental and decorative rather than substantive and engaging. It's nice to know a little Plato that you can invoke at a cocktail party when you're off relaxing and not making money, but there's no sense that what's at stake might be your very life, as Socrates and many others believed. The democratic tradition accents decency and dignity, freedom and equality, excellence and even elegance in certain instances. It can, it can be and should be about the choices that human beings make and how those choices are connected to shattering narrow forms of provincialism and fundamentalism, whatever the fundamentalism is. Democracy is all about dialogue, discussion, and critical exchange, bold speech, frank speech, but rooted in that burying that dying to live more fully. Democracy contests fundamentalism. 
religious fundamentalism, free market fundamentalism, fundamentalism, excuse me, secular fundamentalism, these are made accountable through democracy. It faces down narrow, exclusive perspectives that make it difficult to open our minds to alternatives. And let's mark where I am. And um, that's the book. Don't really have to say much more when you're dealing with Cornell West. And um, thank you for supporting me. And until next time, protect your mind, protect your body, and be safe out there.